Hello, I am Coach David Ades. I offer life coaching at a reasonable rate, and today I'm talking about you can't do it alone. Self-improvement over the long term is too arduous a journey. It's too difficult. It requires too much patience, emotional support, keeping yourself up. Just look ahead. The diligence, the perseverance, the discipline, the accountability, the objective view you need to take sometimes when you're really caught up in something that you can't get out of. And then on the warmer side of things, the emotional support, the intimacy that is required to make bigger and bigger improvements, you're trying to get closer to your inner reality, you're trying to get closer to external reality, you're trying to bridge the gaps between these two realities. This is intimacy. So it requires openness and vulnerability and honesty and forthrightedness, if that's the right way of saying that quality. And if you think that you're going to be able to keep up the motivation that would support all of these different qualities throughout all of the ups and downs of a real self-improvement journey, you're fooling yourself. Our culture is becoming so narcissistic over time. It's already so bad, but it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And, you know, seems like there's no turning back at this point. But this is the cultural celebration of self-sufficiency. I hear and I read a lot of, if you're going to improve, do it for yourself. Don't change for anybody else. And it's like, wow, who thinks that they themselves is a good enough reason to justify a real hard, long journey of self-improvement? You really make yourself that happy? that it's going to be enough to keep up with all of the difficulties, especially when you are the reason that it's so difficult. Most of the reason you can't keep up with self-improvement and actualize your goals and work on your potential is because of you. So somehow you are supposed to be the one putting in the work to destroy the parts of yourself that get in the way of uh, yourself and dealing with that anger and disappointment and hopelessness, and now I have to try again, and how hard do I have to humble myself, and things things like that, the, the utter patience, the utter suffering of it. Somehow you're going to be the one experiencing that, but then at the same time, your experience of yourself is supposed to be the thing that keeps you in the game? But what about when your experience of yourself sucks? What about when you're too tired, when you're too angry, when you can't get yourself together, when your experience of yourself is the worst thing ever? It's exactly the thing keeping you from going. You are your worst enemy in this life. But at the same time, you're supposed to be your best friend. It is this ability to play both sides of the coin like, okay, we're going to do this for ourselves because it's good for us. But there are some times where we can't muster that. There are some times where we feel the gritting rea- we're feeling the gritting reality of our own limitations and our own shortcomings and being our own cheerleader during these times, expecting that the romantic ideal of being able to be your own cheerleader during these really hard times, it's utterly ridiculous. It's magical thinking. It's what a child does. I'm a superhero. I can do anything. The reality is we get tired and we get frustrated and we get caught up in stuff that we can't get ourselves out of. And if we are still distancing ourselves from other people for the sake of narcissistic pride that I'm a self-made person, I'm not going to change for everybody. I don't need anybody's attention. I don't need any validation. It's a fool's game. What's the point of self-improvement if you're doing it all for yourself? That's disgusting. It has to be a ping pong game between I work on myself and then I go out into the world amongst other people to experience the reward of the work I've done on myself. Give me that validation. I'm earning it through the work that I do. Give me those extra compliments. I'll open myself up to you so you can see what I'm doing. I Hopefully, I surround myself by people who like me and support me and aren't abusive. So when I do put in work and I do express myself, I do get some positive attention. God forbid we need positive attention. God forbid we need to be seen and heard by other people in this existence. I hope that this alleviates some of the pressure 
of this, I'm going to improve myself alone, and then I'm going to come out to the world. That's not going to be a very functional or healthy performance. You are going to die mentally. You're going to die inside the further you try to take this journey. It's going to, and not in a good way, the parts of yourself that are sabotaging you aren't going to be the only things dying as you improve yourself in this self-made uh, way. Your soul is going to die along the way. Because the whole point, again, of self-improving is to participate more in life. It's to participate more in environments and relationships, especially that feature other human beings. Do it for yourself. Don't change for other people. Why not? Why not? Have you ever heard successful people say, show me the your five closest friends and I'll have a good idea of who you are? That's because people do change us. And that's why we seek more, more positive relationships. Because we are looking to change. Let the world change you. Be affected by other people. And it will be for better or worse over time, but as you collect experience, you can direct yourself more consciously to the more positively affecting people. And over time, they will hopefully affect you more positively. Let them affect you. Search for whatever motivation it takes to keep you getting your life together. It's not worth the false pride of being a self-made person. Do whatever, get whatever you have to get in order to motivate you to continue, no matter how shallow the validation is, no matter how shallow, how fleeting the attention of another person is, or how shallow it seems, how uh, needy it seems, put yourself out there to be changed by things so you have motivation to change, because that's what we're looking for. And the biggest motivation to change, the biggest motivational factor to change is other people. It's not you, you're not an other person, you are yourself. The reason the self-made things works for narcissists is because they're internally divided. They don't really have, like, a real version of themselves, but they feel like they are actually a different person. They are the reflection in the mirror. It's an empty place that gazes outward into a perfect version of themselves. So they have this self-intimacy between I'm perfecting myself and I'm somehow the thing behind the thing perfecting myself that gazes at the perfect thing and says, Ooh, you're so beautiful, and why don't you keep doing it for yourself? You don't need them. The, uh, the word narcissist comes from the Greek myth of the Greek youth who looked into his reflection in some body of water, like a lake or a pond, and fell in love with it and then fell in and was consumed by his own reflection, right? He fell into his own reflection and he was consumed. Narcissists are a void. They, they don't exist, uh, really. And they're, they're just this outward uh, uh, appearance of, of an attempt at human perfection. And they're stuck doing it alone because they can't relate with other human beings because they don't have the thing that enables human beings to relate with one another. Don't seek to relate less with other human beings. Seek to relate more with other human beings and bite the bullet of the stakes of that endeavor, the potential joy and the potential hurt. Be changed by this world. If you resonate with this message, you can schedule a free 45-minute session with me by clicking the first link in the description. Reach out to me through Instagram, um, at Coach David Ades, or through my email, david at dyingtolive.blog. Like this video if you do like it. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe to see more. And I will talk to you soon.